Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here for Quick Tip Thursday. This is Nicole with Topaz, and today's topic is about determining and controlling small, medium, and large image details through Topaz Detail. So Topaz Detail will give you the ultimate control over your image details. It internally separates an image into several detail sizes, which are small, medium, and large. And two of the most common inquiries we get for Topaz Detail is how detail determines the image detail size, and more importantly, how to identify it and control that detail size range within the program itself. So we're going to be looking at this image of uh, this dewy flower here for this session. This is the original image, but I wanted to show you really quickly a, an enhancement of small details versus medium details versus large details. So let me show you this. This is the original image, and here is an enhancement of just small details, and that's within Topaz Detail Program. So I will go in there and kind of show you this here in just a second, but I just wanted you to see that on your screen first. Here's again the original image, and this is small details only. And now I'm going to show you the medium detail enhancement, which is going to be larger, less texture-like details than the small detail enhancement, but it's still, some of these smaller dewdrops are still getting um, enhanced and are considered medium details in this particular image. Lastly, I will show you the large detail enhancement. And these are pretty heavy enhancements just to show you the difference, but you can see within this large detail enhancement that it's much more about the structure of the overall image feature, so there's a lot of enhancement along the major edges of your larger image details. And then the smaller details such as the texture of the petals themselves and the magnification of that texture through the dewdrops, as well as these smaller dewdrops, they're not touched in this large detail enhancement. So let's go ahead and actually jump into the program and show you how this all works. I'm going to take this background copy and go to Topaz Labs, Topaz Detail. And when you first pop in, you'll see this plugin is analyzing the image pop up. And what that's letting you know is detail is analyzing each image that you bring in and breaking it down and separating your image details into all these different uh, size ranges. Now, let's talk about the first step of this particular session, and that is how the program determines the different detail sizes. Let me come down here and press reset all so we can get to our original image. It used to be very easy to explain how uh, detail determines each individual size because with Topaz Detail 1 and 2, we had a set pixel range. Uh, no matter what size image you brought in and no matter how many large details versus small details were in that image, it was set by a pixel range. With Topaz Detail 3, we enhance that technology to be specific for each individual image. So we can no longer say, okay, the small details are going to be around two pixels, the large details are going to be 10 pixels and bigger. We uh, don't have that capability because we don't know what size image you're bringing into the image, and we don't know um, the detail ranges that are in the image that you're bringing in. So the determination of uh, is very specific for each individual image. So the more important thing I'd like to talk about is how to identify what Topaz Detail determined as small, medium, or large image details, and then how to control it. So if I wanted to specifically only enhance the detail sizes that are, um, let's say, these smaller dewdrops here on the petals themselves, not the really large one and not the texture details, but I want to see what size these uh, medium or these uh, smaller dewdrops are considered. I would think that they would be considered medium detail or actually possibly large detail as well. But I don't know because each, each time a, a new image is brought in, detail determines that differently. So one trick that I've come up with is just by taking your small details all the way down, your medium details all the way down, and your large details all the way down to take out all of the details that are recognized by Topaz Detail. Once you do this, you'll see that you have a very soft image that has almost no um, detail in it. And so now I can increase either any of these ranges to identify 
which details in this particular image are considered small, medium, or large. So now I can take my medium details up, and as I take that up, I'll see what details are considered medium. And it looks like we have the edges of these larger dewdrops are considered medium, and those smaller dewdrops are considered medium as well. Not the internal uh, texture of the dewdrops themselves, those haven't been enhanced. That's going to be our small detail, it looks like. But those edges of the dewdrops are considered medium. So I can kind of identify each size range of detail very quickly with this trick. So let me just show you in this particular image, our small details are going to be considered very texture-like. You'll see a lot of those um, veins within the petals themselves starting to really pop out a lot of the texture within the actual larger dewdrops. But the larger edges of the dewdrops are not enhanced. It's just a very small detail. Let me show you that one more time. Here's before and after. With the medium, we have the medium sized detail coming out, which is going to be, um, it's again, it's kind of difficult to tell you exactly what kind of detail to look for, but just look for the medium sized features within your image, somewhere between the texture and the main structure of your detail. And then the large details are going to really work on the structure. So any areas where you see big shadows or big differences uh, between larger objects. So here you'll really see the um, individual uh, petal uh, edges really start to stand out, as well as the dewdrops, those main edges and shadows really start to stand out. So that's how I identify how uh, the program has separated my image detail. And by showing you this, you can see how you can individually control it as well. They're broken down into the small detail, medium detail, and large detail. But then you have a little bit more flexibility as well with these boost sliders that are connected to each one. So let's continue with this model of taking away all of the detail. And let me show you how this boost slider works as well to give you that extra boost of control. So let's say I have um, these small details, and I want to really highlight my texture within the petals themselves. But as I increase my small details, you have to be careful with that small detail slider, because those small details, if you have any sort of grain or um, image noise that hasn't been taken care of prior to getting into detail, it will start to really boost up that texture of that grain or noise. So here in our background, you can see that those small details, that small detail enhancement that I'm doing here, have really started to give me this graininess in the background. And those are the smallest image details, almost just individual pixels that are being enhanced. Well, you can control what size detail is considered small with the small detail boost. You can look at it this way. Let's say you have a range of 100, 0 to 100%. 0 to 33% is going to be your small details. And by default, only, let's say, 10 to 25% of those small details on that range are actually showing. If you want to increase that to show all of the details, you can increase that range to show that full 0 to 33% versus taking it and making that range smaller. Now you're not taking away the small detail enhancement, but you're taking away the range of detail that's considered small. So all of this texture-like background has now smoothed out as I take the small details boost to the left, because I've told the program the very, very smallest details in my image, I don't want you to enhance those because I'm taking this to the left. But you still see that there is a small detail enhancement, just no longer affecting the background, which I controlled with my boost. So you have a lot of control over these specific ranges and how to tell the program I really want to um, affect this particular range of small detail versus um, leaving some of this other finer detail out. Same goes for the medium detail and the large detail, so let's just take a look at that. Let's say I want to increase my medium detail quite a bit, 
even in these really smooth area backgrounds, you might see a, a little bit of a pattern start to show up if the program has detected that there's a little bit of um, uh, a pattern in there. It will start to boost that out. And so you can do the same thing. If you want to take those smaller, weaker details away, just take that to the left. And now I'm still able to increase or decrease my medium details, but it's no longer working on those weaker, smaller medium details in the background. So you have a lot of control on this program. And combining all of these sliders together and really choosing can give you just a ton of different looks. We have a ton of different presets over here on the left-hand side for you to play with. But just to give you an idea, here's our creative detail collection. You can do you know, overall detail medium. This is an increase of all three of the sizes, overall detail strong. It's a heavier increase of all the detail sizes, and if you recognize that there are certain areas or ranges of detail that you don't want to affect, take these detail boost sliders to the left. Now I've smoothed out that background, but I still have a nice enhancement on the petals themselves. So you can really control this and determine which details you want to enhance. So I hope that gives you a very quick idea of how Topaz Detail determines and how you're able to control and identify the different size details within the Topaz Detail program. Thanks again, and I hope you're able to join us for an upcoming session. Have a great day. Bye-bye.